hello everyone and cheers well and to catch up there um thank you very much gpx i like the new name i gotta admit i do like the new name let me just close that to uh sort things out so how is everyone this afternoon hope you can all hear me loud and clear let me move my microphone a little bit closer i just realized i moved it away a little bit ready and willing yes indeed major belly sir and we've got captain retro and limb in there hello laszlo sega zombie hello how are you doing my friend herb wars hello how have i been i've i've been well thank you very much herb wars how have you been uh gpx so yeah love the new name pete walker hello sir generous man you hello all all indeed um might missed a few marzy man was in there at the top mike zt was in there at the top as well tom's thumb how you doing hi bug retro tech 100 all right lads just straight over from dana's um stream dana's been doing some great streams i must admit them them streams the, the lockdown streams you've been doing are really good stuff and i was very glad to be a guest on one of the shows so yeah top man uh, yes indeed so we obviously we, we, we return to the set, cassette cam the cassette cam is now staying there staying in, in the uh in, in the in the position disconnected i know what the surprise is eddie the eagle is gonna come on screen oh well you maybe maybe pete maybe we'll we will see uh, Simi Baseline, how you doing, man? Sorry, I missed there. And Smooth MJ, you are here. Oh, you, you actually get, you know what? You get a Rustlers just for yourself. You get a Rustlers just for yourself because of coming up here early. How you doing, Ego Chip, buddy? How are things for you, sir? Uh, I hope you saw my video on uh, the Fusion CBC um, magazine where I uh, talk about your game that they feature in the magazine. So uh, I hope you saw that. Yay, thanks, Bucky. No, no problem. Technic. So, I missed you. Oh, I said what you said, but I didn't make, mention who you were. So, hello to you, Technic. And thank you, GP, for the two very early donations there. It's very kind of you. Hmm. Right. My, um, my camera feed here is a little bit behind, oddly. Not sure why. But anyway. Um, so, uh, we've got, uh, I've got, uh, I've got some new lighting. In the, in the bug loft. I've fitted some new lighting uh, to make things a little bit uh, hopefully better. Um, so there's a, there's a light now directly above my head. So that's to more illuminate me than illuminate, reflect off the Amstrad to try and avoid that. So FC Den Haag, I saw you in there as well. How you doing, buddy? The Rustlers sell them in the Netherlands too. King uh, Burger King kind of flavour. But really? No, no, no. They have a flavour of their own. They're awful. But uh, we love mad moments ago. How you doing, man? Welcome back to Amstrad Live Game Testing. Um, who have I missed? Have I missed anyone there? I've said Laszlo. I've said a few others there. Mad moments ago. Loads of lovely familiar faces. I hope you are all doing well. Um, I'm okay. I'm good. Um, I'm very happy. In fact, I I should have um, released a new video uh, yesterday. Uh, but I had to I had to start the render again because the render crashed. So I had to let it render overnight, and therefore didn't get time to um, didn't get time to um, uh, post it. Uh, but I will be posting it. But uh, watching the stream, you'll be sort of like in for a little bit of a, a a teaser for that video. So there we go. Russell's okay if you don't nuke the bun as well. Yeah, that's true. They're not too, but you got to heat the bun up a little bit though, haven't you, Darren? And welcome back to Amsterdam Live Game Center to you too, sir. So obviously we are on back on Frankie. Testing with Frankie. I'm still waiting for my um, demagnetizer uh, kit. Um, it's taken ages to arrive. Um, but what I have, what I have got. Well, I know, and I'll show you that later. Actually, I will show you that later. I need you to find or use the sauce, otherwise you taste the meat. The, the, the sauce is awful. Yeah, in the toaster, exactly. Yeah, good idea. The, the, t oh, no, the sauce is horrible. Anyway, the test game was our Fidesz Monty on the um, the Amstrad collection. Uh, oh, thank you very much, FC Danhag. Follow, following me on Extra Bits. Thank you very much, sir, for the follow on uh, on Twitch. Very kind of you, sir. 
I hope you do enjoy the stream on the on the on the Wednesdays, and now now and then I drop another one on Twitch now and then. Yeah, so the yeah the Amstrad collection, or the Amstrad game collection, I think it means the Amstrad game collection. I'm not going to pronounce it. I can't speak German very well. So um, yes, indeed. Uh, Alfie Design Monty is the test game, and it loaded fine. Nice little tune at the beginning of Alfie Design Monty. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute, Lucas, with the predictions. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Clear my throat. <coughs> Die Amstrad slime. And um, we're going to go through the uh, we're going to go through the games this afternoon. Uh, but you're going to think, oh, you you one short bug or you're two short bug. Well, we've got a reason for that. But we'll get to that later. So the selection this evening is again. I just literally went <laughs> random into the. Um, <laughs> Totally right. I thought I missed it. No, 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 I haven't missed it yet, mate. Um, I, I just went boom, hand random into the untested pile and I pulled out four games. Why four games, you say? Well, like I said, we will tease that later. So the games this afternoon will be Megabucks and the Firebird label. Um, I don't believe I've ever played this. Uh, I think it's a platform adventure kind of thing can't remember. Hacker 2. Now, I never really enjoyed Hacker 1, so I've never played Hacker 2, but I didn't, I didn't like Hacker 1. Um, it just, just not my cup of tea. Um, sort of like a management, sort of texty, gamey kind of thing, isn't it? But we'll see if it loads. And any, any of you like cricket? Alternative software is international cricket. Cricket, even. You know it's going to be amazing, don't you? Absolutely amazing. And finally... A Mastertronic semi-classic in Armourort. Yes, I believe this has pretty decent music from memory. I can't remember, but I think it did. You don't like cricket? I don't like cricket. You're playing a bit of 10cc now, are you? Uh, um, I can read German if you need a translation. I think, I think I've translated it once more. I think it means the Amstrad Game Collection. Is that right, to FC Den Haag? I think that means the Amstrad Game Collection. Or the Collection of Amstrad. Or is, yeah, I'm sure it says, well, the, the this is the Amstrad, I know that, and I'm pretty sure that's game. Spiel is game. So I think it means the Amstrad game collection. But anyway, yeah, Alfredo Zamonti is on that, and uh, so is Thing Bounces Back, funnily enough, and that didn't load. But there you go, it's a multi-tape, so. Four, yes, I know, I know, yeah, I know, Simi, calm down. Calm down. When is GPX going to become GPX 4000? Oh, yeah, you probably were. Yes, uh, Spinglung uh, Spiel Spiel is, is collection. Yes, it's Amstrad Game Collection. I thought that's what it meant. So, hate it. I hate it. What do you hate, Laszlo? Um, Bridget, love it for the music alone. Hate it. I hate it. Marvellous. Oh, Retro Game Bloke. Thank you very much for the subscription, sir. Oh, thank you very much. I do hope you enjoy the channel going forward. Thank you very much, sir. And I've got plenty of uh, old videos that you probably, hopefully, will enjoy. Retro Game Boat, thank you very, very much for the subscription. Uh, you get a Rustlers. You get a Rustlers for the subscription. And that's also for the FC Den Haag for the um, follow on the extra bits as well. Right. Okay. So, four out of... Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Four games, eh? Hmm. So, we're going to go out of four. Um, actually, we're not going to do it out of four. I'm lying. We're going to do it out of five, but I'm not going to show you what the fifth one is yet. So you've got to have faith to, to know what the fifth game is. It's a mystery. It may be. So it's, out of, it's actually out of five, but the, four, but the fifth game is a mystery game. And it's a special kind of load. And you will find out when we get to it. So I will leave that hanging there. So I'm assuming, GP, you go for a uh, three out of five. It's out of five. Laszlo goes for a five out of five. Blind faith. I like your style, Laszlo. I really do. Let's turn that off, shall we? Okay. I like your style, Laszlo. I really do. Um, okay. Is the fifth game a disc game? No, it's not a disc game. I'll give you that. Um, Pete goes for four out of five. Is this Monty on the Run sequel of? It's out, I think it was, yes, Alfie Delay Monty. 
A jizz load, it better be. Lucas goes for a 4 out of 5. He hasn't got faith in the, myst in the mystery game. 4 out of 5 of a 41B in the German compilation. Compilations have short lifespans. Uh, well, that was the test game. Arnie, that was the test game, buddy. So, no, that that's not actually not part of tonight's testing regime. Technic goes for a 5 out of 5. I'm feeling lucky punk again. Retro Limit goes for a 4 out of 5. We'll start with um, international cricket. Is this a betting thing? Okay, I'm going for 5 out of 5, whatever that means. No, just a bit of fun, Retro Game Bloke. Just a bit of fun. There is the tape cassette for international cricket. Actually looks a lot better on screen now. I've got a bit of sort of half-decent lighting in here. You can actually see it, which is good. <coughs> and I've locked, and you see the cassette cam there. I've locked the uh, focus on the... Uh, I've locked the focus on the camera because for some reason it was messing around before and uh, last last stream, so we ain't uh, we ain't messing around with that. We're going to leave it where it is. Hopefully, hopefully the picture is nice and clear uh, for everybody. Uh, let me know if the picture's not because it looks okay for me. <clears throat> so international cricket, alternative software is international cricket. Oh, it's loading the first block, which is always handy. Oh, look at it. Oh, oh, cricket is loading. It gives us a little... Oh, isn't that? That's probably all you're going to get. That's your loading screen. That is literally your loading screen. Your loading screen is a, is a, is a text line saying cricket is loading. <laughs> nice and clear picture for me. Excellent. Hello, Rachel. Hello. Welcome back to Amsterdam Live Game Testing. I hope you are doing well. Uh, Twat the thumbs up, guys. Twat the thumbs up. Yeah, go on, hit the thumbs up. Well done, Yellow Belly. Indeed, indeed, indeed. It is different, isn't it, Pete? It's a fake game. Nobody plays cricket outside the UK, so it can't be international. Hey, the Indians and the South Africans and the West Indies, I do believe, and, of course, the Australians and the New Zealanders, particularly the Australians and the Indians and the, and the West Indies, I believe adore cricket. <laughs> so I, I know what you mean, though. Didn't know you could do that with block loaders. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that. Just loaded. It's literally all it done. All it's done is just loaded a text line, hasn't it? A, 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 that's a very simple, basic, um, you know, um, print cricket is loading. Go, 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 uh, go load or something or something like that. Um, four out of five says Maud. Hello, Maud. Welcome back to I'm sort of live game testing. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, lovely greeting for Rachel there. Fantastic. Everyone saying hello to Rachel. Excellent. Cricket is massive when you consider the size of India. Exactly. And Australia, of course. Uh, sound. Not sure I saw this uh, when it went, went and popped in. Uh, not sure I saw this when it popped in. Uh, I never understand the rules of cricket. I, I fully understand the rules of cricket. I know exactly. Killbot, killbot, kill. Hello, killbot, killbot, kill. How are you? And uh, with your four out of five tonight, five out of five, keeping the faith, Major Simon Green, sir. And uh, you do get a big shout out in my latest video, which will be uh, posted uh, tomorrow now. Anna Zero, hello, Anna darling, how are you doing? Hello, hope you are well, keeping well. Who is yellow calling a twat as soon as I arrive? Charming. Also, if Americans have a World Series of Baseball, we can have international cricket, exactly. How did Hal even know Vic existed? The Japanese base and the Vic 20. <laughs> Very good. Very good. cricket yuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Never mind. Never mind. Let me just give that uh, a bit of a wipe there. That's. Yeah, okay. I'm just looking at that. I just thought there was a bit of a blur there. But it's not. It's me not looking at the camera properly. So hopefully I'm I'm a bit more lit today, by the way. Not lit in the in, in, in the you know the street jargon sense. Uh, lit as in lit up. No, we're still loading, so we've got no errors yet. Um, let's see how we go. Uh, so we've got, I think the consensus is four out of five tonight. Of course, with the mystery fifth game. Bowler Yorker. Or a googly. Um, I'm, sticking, uh, I'm sticking by my bet. Uh, what did you go for, Simmy? Did you go for a four out of five, did you? I think you might have. They do the same with hand egg and hand egg as well, Pete. What? Oh, I, I think baseball calling it the World Series is stupid considering only Americans play it. And one Canadian. The Japanese like baseball though, don't they? 
I think the Japanese play baseball a lot, but, I don't, but oddly don't take part in the World Series, weirdly. Anna goes for a 5 out of 5. Mm. Breeding the confidence, Anna. This block seems to be taking a while to load. I think that's all. That's probably what it just does. I think. Don't pay any attention. I don't think it should be any attention to that. I honestly think that this is the loading screen. I do, I do just think that is the loading screen and that's all you're going to get. So, um. Uh, did anyone get hold of Batman's Willy? Uh, I don't think I ever did. Uh, I didn't get for Robin either. So, this has taken as long as the actual game of cricket. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, no, that, but is that more enjoyable than this or is this more enjoyable? Who knows? How are we doing with uh, the, the tape? Let's have a look. We're coming towards the end of the tape, so let's see what happens. Because I, I think that, that that text line there is just <laughs> it's literally just the uh, loading screen. I used to use a, raster, use a raster blaster to load my spectrum up. Rare, I couldn't get a tape to load up. Bla blasted it in. <laughs> there is a way you can actually hold down certain buttons on the Amstrad and make make it do that, but I, that, that's probably not good for the tape deck. Who's Robin? The wicket keeper. He's, uh, he's the third man. <laughs> it's a cricket joke. You wouldn't get that. Evening, Bug in the Army. Mr. Bad's Game, sir. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? How are you doing, my friend? I hope things are... Very good over over the road in in sunny Redruth. I know they are for me. They're okay for me. Forty one on the, uh, watching now. Fantastic. Is this broke? No, I don't. I don't think it is because it's not. Well, it might be broke. Who knows? That's the that's the point. Uh, tape loader loads it faster on the Amstrad or the C sixty four. I think C sixty four is quite a slow loader, isn't it? Sup Nova, Bud Ape. Hello, Bud Ape. Uh, not seen your name before. Welcome to Amstrad Live Game Testing. Oh, we got a read error. After all fucking that, we got a read error. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we do the obligatory try side B. We have to do it. After, <laughs> After all that. <laughs> nice read error, eh? That was brilliant, yeah. Right at the end. <laughs> Absolute genius. You never know what's going to happen on this, dear. The cricket has crashed. I had lots of volume. I wish I could switch up from to lots of bass and lots of treble. All right, let's see what happens. So we get that. Cricket is loading. It, well, you said that before, international cricket. You said you were loading before, but you didn't. Did you? You were fibbing. Uh, you got your azimuth head cleaner. Uh, the azimuth isn't a head cleaner retro game bloke. It's a head alignment tool. Um, I'm actually still waiting for my demagnetizer kit, uh, which is generally for for the other for the other machine. This this machine's perfectly fine normally. <clears throat> Read error is pretty mu is pretty much we are utterly fucked, sir. Error right? <laughs> Brb off for a ciggy. No worries, Simmy. Um, it's only cricket, no big loss. No, yeah, but we always try side B. We always give it a go. Give, give a go, give a game two chances. I always say give a game a two. If, it, if it's particularly potentially a good game, we give it two go, two go, th three goes. We will attempt to it. Uh, play has been delayed. The covers are on the pitch, and the players are tucking into their cucumber sarnies. Nice, Simon. Nice. Uh, uh, error B, you may recover. Error A, and you're dead. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. No, no, no. Not necessarily. Uh, salt and vinegar, dirty milk. Rachel deserves more studs, by the way. She's doing CPC gameplay videos at the moment. Just saying, the more the merrier. Ah, I will definitely check that out if Rachel is doing that. I will definitely check that out after this stream. That would be fantastic. She's doing CPC stuff now. Uh, it came with a screwdriver as well. Yeah, it did. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got retro game deck. I've got the Azima set. I've got the Azima set, a, a mint condition one with screwdriver and the alignment card and everything else in it. So there you go. Uh, yeah, drop a link in, uh, Rachel. Drop a link. Rachel, drop a link into the uh, into the chat, will you? Why not? Indeed. 
Why not? That's not an open. That's not open. That doesn't mean it's open season for everyone, by the way. Interesting knowledge about read errors. Is there anything such as a read error C? There is, but it's not normally possible. Um, a read error C is a is a memory overload, I believe it is. But the chances are that the the, the CPC will reset before that happens. I'm sure that's the case. I pretty much think a read error C is a memory overload or something along those lines. So there we go. Good. Drop the drop, drop the link in. Fantastic. Smooth MJ. Well done. Thank you very much. Uh, the green chat test is kind of difficult to read. The green. All oh, right. Okay. Well, I've had it like that for donkeys. Um. Oh, I've, 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 had the, I've had the chat window like that on there, but it's really only for effect more than anything else. Um, you should have two Amstrads running, at least one's got to work. Um, it's not the Amstrad. You guys always always blame the Amstrad. It's not the Amstrad. It's not. It's not indeed. Miss uh, uh, Baduno came out in all this madness. Not see you on YouTube lately. Busy in real life. We've been, we have been busy, actually. I'm retired. No, you haven't, Paul. <laughs> Laszlo still goes for a 4 out of 5. Read error D exists. Uh, you only get that from CAT, though, if a block is too long. You can create long block files with some file copy software like JL Copy. Yeah, there is a read error D, isn't there? Yes, again, very rare. Um, yeah, C and D are very rare. Um, it is always A, a, or, a or B. Um, one is uh, uh, a timing error, and the other one is a... Um, one of them means basically means the Amstrad can't understand what's going on, so it chucks the error out. And one of them is a timing error. I always forget which way around that is. Um, years ago, I used to know. I used to have it like plugged into my memory, but it's something along those lines. Oh <laughs> no, no! What I know now, I go for a five. Oh no, no! We did it from the beginning of the start loading. But who knows? There's still co there's still go code going into this. Uh, just served your light nova bug. Cool. Oh, thank you very much, GP. You're talking about Rachel. Yes, I believe she may be very cool indeed. And I will be going over to your uh, channel in a minute, uh, Rachel, after the stream. Um, the chances are, if I open YouTube and sub to someone, the stream will <laughs> crash on this laptop. Um, also have a read error A where I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, you can recover from both. You can recover from both, but uh, hey, like I say, this is um, if it's if it's one of those situations where we're getting all the way to the end of the tape and it's chucking up that read error, oh, what a pain, what a pain. But hey, we've got to give it, a, we've got to give it a chance. We've got to give it a chance. All the all all, all my cassettes have equality. They all have their chances to shine. They all have their chances to load, no matter what the game is, no matter what the uh, publisher is. They've got to give them a chance to shine. They've got to have their moment in the sun, or in this case, moment in the in the loft light. Staroro, how you doing, buddy? Posted um, Rachel's channel on the on the, on. The, there you go. A a you were doubting. There you go. And I prove you wrong. And this is the why. This is why we give games second chances to prove us wrong. Because that happens. Do you want to load your own teams? No, I fucking don't. Well, this looks like an interesting game, doesn't it? <laughs> Gooch, Robinson, Gower, Gatting, Mike Gatting, uh, Alan Lamb, Ian Botham, Downton Edmonds, Ellison, uh, Ellison Foster. Uh, Use the keyboard to choose your teams and then press enter when you're happy. I'll press enter. There we go. World team. That's the world team. Do you want to save your teams? No. Are you playing the computer? Yes. England versus the world team. Choose your team. England. You have won the toss. GP, you've won the toss. Do you want to bat first? Yes. This is amazing, by the way. What an amazing game this is. Uh, let's have a, a test game. And the weather is wet, GP. Uh, will you play a one-day game? Well, that's not a test game, but we'll say yes. Practice? No, we won't say. Do, do we actually get to play cricket? Or is this a cricket management say? We'll press S to start. Uh, this is this is cricket. This is oh hello. We've got graphics. We've got graphics. Bit bright. Did I actually? 
I'm supposed to bat. Am I supposed to bat there? Kapil Dev, what's he doing? He's doing a shuffle. Honestly, am I supposed to bat here? I am supposed to bat. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've been run out. I've gone for the run and I've been run out. Um, so you do all that management stuff and then you ha actually have to bat. Well, we have a load up. So who said, who said, it looks good, shame it's cricket. <laughs> he got imprisoned, Lazzy. 12 years for being a perv. It's like the cricket version of football manager. Before the game actually started, I don't get it. <laughs> Brilliant. Shit miracles do happen, you see? You see? you got to give it a chance. I think the loading screen was the most exciting part of that game. <laughs> It was very good, he got it. Very good. But hey, it goes into the winning pile. Whether you whether you like cricket or not, and whether whether you know whether you you know it loaded or not. It loaded. It loaded. It loaded. So let's go for mega bucks, shall we? Ship miracles being the keyboard. Typical Firebird label on this mega bucks. Nothing special. And it's bunning around Frankie and off we go. Right, so we got one down. Five to go. Mm, you are Kevin's best friend. The graphics were good. The graphics weren't too bad. I've, I've seen worse. Put it that way. Um, I have seen worse. Let's, okay. So, Mega Bucks. Anybody know anything about Mega Bucks? Be your work back, says Retro and Lim. Okay. Come back in a minute. Shit tapes these. Uh, what, the, uh, the Mastertronic ones? Yeah. Well, it's loading Mega Buck, not Mega Bucks. So, we've got the, this is the prequel. I might have a tick loader here. Uh, countdown. Never heard of that one. Is Mega Bucks uh, about large, about a large male deer? Yes, ego chip. That is definitely one of those for you. Ego chip, you earned that. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this one of those loaders like Raid Two? It was a really good loader, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a ticker loader. Yeah, so we have a countdown. I bet Nova's had a few Rollins and Kevins in his loft. <laughs> what beer am I on tonight? Uh, I'm on the Cause Cause Light. Cause Light tonight, Pete. Hmm. Firebird was so good at labeling the tapes, they frequently had BBC loading instructions on CPC releases. Yeah, this is Firebird. <laughs> Indeed, a Firebird tape, indeed. A Firebird cassette. Oh, dear. So, but we do have a, we do have a, a ticker loader, which I like these. I, li I, I like these uh, countdown loaders and these style because I think they're quite, uh, you know, they're sort of like, well, you're staring at a number, but it's something, to, it's something moving on screen, isn't it? It's always interesting. Firebird loader, exactly, a Firebird loader. <laughs> Uh, Silverbird, uh, Silverbird loader. Do I? I mean, there's, there's a lot, a lot of the ones on some of the Silverbird releases where you get the, where you get a, where you get a loading screen, but you also get the ticker on it as well. Uh, so that's kind of cool. The Silverbird ones. I think Ninja Scooter Simulator certainly did that. I'm pretty sure. Um, I wonder where the Titan Lyle is now. The Titan Lyle's down there. The Titan Lyle is just in, in that direction, but we can't see that. We cannot see that. I uh, put it out. I've got Titan Lyle was a distraction, so you know we can't have things distracting things. They are all the same smoothie. Who cares? Turns out this was not the case. <laughs> Titan Lyle forever in our arse hearts. I mean, you love your Titan Lyle, Anna. You do. Mm mm. You gotta love a bit of Titan Lyle. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on the life and death. Well, what do we think? Do we think Mega Bucks is gonna load? It's doing okay so far. I can't see the calendar anymore either. No, the calendar's long gone. It was that was last year's for starters. The calendar is long gone. We've got I've got the I've got the Duke's four thousand advertising poster there. I've got Yoshi in the corner. You can just make out here. You can just make out that. What is that joystick? Come on, you can see. Everyone can see what that joystick is, even by looking at that tiny sliver of that joystick. Laszlo's still going for a five out of five. <laughs> uh, I, I thought you'd found a big sponsor, Nova. No. Well, it's not on Amstrad. 
Hey Clansman, how you doing, Clanny? Uh, almost. You, you're almost right there, Technic. Not quite. You're almost right. Uh, I had to be, I guessed, uh, 5 out of 5, so I can't change my mind. No, 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 no. Eddie Sneaker Freak, how you doing, Steve? How are you keeping, buddy? Looking forward to a drink review in the future of another Play Expo event. Always good to spend a bit of time with uh, Addy Sneaker Freak. Um, fascinating way. <laughs> quick Shot 2 Turbo. Yes, it is indeed a Quick Shot 2 Turbo Technics. Well, well done. Uh, yeah, GP lives in London, unfortunately, for him. Um, no one wants to clend it. Oh, I must have missed something there, so I do apologise. Okay, right. Have you got Mega Bucks, by the way? I don't. Oh, I thought that sounded a bit weird there, but it was fine. Yes, Chris, drinks in the future, mate. Indeed, sir. Indeed. Play Expo in this climate. Play Expo, hopefully, when all this nonsense goes away, uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a nice uh, Play Expo uh, Blackpool. Uh, I mean, it is later in the year. It is in October, traditionally. So, uh, when all this utter bullshit disappears, it will be pretty good. National Egg Day. I've got to open another beer. Hang on. Oh. National Egg Day? That's Dizzy Day, isn't it? I had an album called Silvertown. I never knew it was a real place. Cheers. Mega Bucks rhymes with mega f trucks. Indeed it does. Boiled, poached and fried. I'm eating my kids' Easter eggs faster. Uh, I'm eating my kids' Easter eggs. Does that count? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Boil and mash them. Stick them in a stew. Nice. Um, Lord of the Rings quote there. Hello. It's all gone dark. It's still, The code's still loading. That's not unusual. Oh, we've got a... Right, okay. We have our loading border back. Egg stew. Now, egg stew? What's earth? That's eggnog, isn't it? Egg stew. I think this game is all right if you can figure it out. Uh, I've gone off eggs now. It's lovely. Oh, bloody hell. Egg stew. Ugh. Never had it. Never will. Doesn't sound my cup of tea. Doesn't sound my cup of egg. That's for sure. Hmm. Egg stew. I mean, I mean, isn't that like scrambled eggs, isn't it? Oof, solid colour's a good sign. Oh, gone all black again. This looks broken. No, I've seen I've seen them do this before. I've seen them do the solid colours all many, many times before. If it's making a loading noise, if it's making loading noise, it's broken. Well, we don't know. Well, we have to stick with it until the end. It's still loading. We'll stick it. We'll stick with it to the end. I thought it had loaded then. I think it's still alright. Everyone's debating whether the, whether the load is okay now. <laughs> I can't take this tension. I know you're on the engine edge of your seat, Rachel. Trust me, you'll be on the edge of your seat later. When we all stand by for the resurrection. Oh, I've let something slip. <laughs> black pudding, now you talk about that. Oh, but I do like a bit of black pudding. Have you ever had a hog's pudding, Anna? Um, there's a there's, uh, local in Cornwall, a lot of. Uh, there you go. Whoa. What was that? Uh, press any key to continue. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll press here. Control keys or redefine keys. Do we have joystick control? We have a loader. Bloody hell, that's really weird that it does that. Program code input. Right, I have to press joystick. Um, okay, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do, do this, I guess. What the bloody hell? Okay, well we have we have keyboard control anyway, so interesting look. I've got to admit, what's what's jump then? Well, that's do something along those lines. Uh, I need to, I need to find up and down. Ah, uh, hang on, there I found it. K and M, right? K and M is up and down. What is all this nonsense? Don't know. Off, 
Let's just press off. Quit selected. Okay, press that. Not a clue. Here we go. Let's just press that. It's, uh, I suppose we've got to pick that up, I guess. Uh, let's press that. That looks like a pick up. Uh, push, pause selected. Now that was pause. Okay. Right, I suppose, ah, oh, right, okay. So that, that's, that's collect, that's pick up, isn't it? Of course it is. Dopey. You've got a tape recorder. Yay! I've got a tape recorder. I certainly have got a tape recorder. There's one right here. <laughs> right. Let's move on to the next game. Lovely. That loaded. Uh... Jellified blood. Oh yeah, but black pudding. Yeah, but, um, no, black pudding is pig's blood. That's a, it's, a, it's set to pig's blood. Yeah, hog's pudding. What the fuck is hog's pudding? It's it's like spiced. Um, it's like a spiced sausage. Uh, British. I'm sure it's British or American. It's like a spiced sausage, and it's cut into big slices, a bit like black pudding, and it's really really nice. I keep trying to go veggie, but I can't do it. I feel bloody horrible. I uh, don't feel guilty, mate. Don't feel guilty about that. You don't need to feel guilty. You certainly don't need to virtue signal to yourself. Don't worry about it. So, Mega Bucks loads. Two loaders for this afternoon, peoples. Right, Hacker 2. Cream of Mr. T Sausage, Lucas. Hey, is Mikey Smith here? Hello, Mikey Smith. How are you doing, sir? Your 8-bit master is here. Uh, you can see that in the, in the in the cassette can there, nice and clean, isn't it? Yep. Right. Play we go. Um, I got we've, we've got up to forty four viewers tonight, which is uh, nowhere near Zypho's average of eighty. But there we go. Yes, he is indeed a legend. He is indeed a legend, Mikey Smith, top man. Hacker two, then here we go with Hacker two. Sounds crystal clear. The code there sounds crystal clear, but that's not that's not you know counting chickens yet. Reckoner VR, hello, welcome to Amsterdam Live Game Testing again. I uh, didn't play Hacker or Hacker Two back in the day, but I think I would have liked them. I de I played Hacker One. I'm pretty sure I played Hacker One, and I did, wasn't a fan of it. I couldn't get into it. But uh, never played Hacker Two. Never even loaded it. So here we go. Here's a, the f a first for all. I'm probably not going to load it. I'm probably not going to play it, obviously. This is all about the loading. And we've got to get round to the big reveal later, which is going to take a good half an hour to do. So I do hope you enjoy it. Why are they called puddings? I have no idea. I, well, it's a bit like a Yorkshire pudding, isn't it? Um, and a rice pudding, you know? It's that kind of thing. Um, a pudding is like a... It was adopted to be like a dessert name but it's pudding is can be can be savory uh, salty sweet anything i played one of the hackers but i never got far into it i think that's probably basically what i did with hacker one uh rachel i just never really got it never really got me got me going reminded me of night time on the specky black pudding and custard i don't think that's a good combination maud but never mind <clears throat> Rice pudding is nice. A question for the army of bugs. Was Mikey ever m uh, Mikey ever released in his original form? Imagine clam case. Mm. I don't know. I would have to research that quickly on CPC Power. Um, I think it may have been in clamshell. I want to say yes, but I am not 100% sure. Do you know the two sounds that send shivers through me? Not that you asked. Uh, the rattling loading cassette of the Amstrad and the jagged whirring of the Amiga disc. Uh, yeah, and I, I hear both quite frequently. Uh, now, but do you like Dutch old cheese? I'm eating some blocks now. Ultimate Dutch TV snack. Is it a blue cheese, FC? If it's a blue cheese, I probably don't like it. But if it's not a blue cheese, I will try it. I'm not a fan of blue cheese. But I will try all other kinds of cheese. Chili cheese, soft cheese, cream cheese, hard cheese, uh, cream cheese. All of those I'll try. But if it's a blue cheese, I just won't touch it. It's not a blue cheese. I haven't had it. I've never tried. Is it, a, is it like a crumbly mature one? Um, yeah. <laughs> gobbled, gobbled sausages. 
OSG, is OSG in the house? Hello, what game's loading? Hacker 2. <coughs> OSG, Hacker 2 is loading. We have successfully loaded. I'm just going to catch up anybody coming into the stream now. Um, we have got uh, International Cricket as loaded after a second attempt and Megabucks loaded on the first attempt. We have got five games, but the, mis but the, but the fifth game is a mystery game, OSG. Evening all, hello Pac-Man, welcome back mate. I didn't know you left. Didn't know you left, buddy. Uh, I've never had haggis, but honestly, it doesn't sound nice. It really does not sound nice, haggis. So I probably will give it a miss, but because it's like a sheep's lying in with a load of offal. Minced up offal, isn't it? I've got no loading screen on this hacker too, by the way, if, we, if it is loading. I, I, I like the art, though. I like the art on the front of this. We've been waiting for you. The Doom Hacker Two, the Doomsday Papers. We've been waiting for you. That's a, that's that's kind of nice. I like that kind of thing. Top secret documents locked away in in a Russian safe give the Soviets the power to destroy the world. The only way to preserve world peace is to remove the papers using remote control droids to penetrate the Russian base. And the CIA have the CIA have hired you for the job. Aren't you honest? Over 50 viewers now. Lovely. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching Amstrad Live Game Testing. I still don't... Sheep's lungs. Yeah. 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 Nah. Yeah. Not nah. Yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. I... 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 I, I, I yeah. I, something about it just... Mm, yeah. Not sure. I do eat some weird stuff, but I'm not sure about I guess. I'd probably give us... have a spoonful of it just to have a taste. But black pudding, congealed blood does not really appeal. No, that's true, but I actually like black pudding. Oh! Log on, please. <laughs> it starts like the other one. Old one. Uh, Never bug. Request recorded. One moment, please. Welcome to Attic Source, the international computer hotline. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a really good sense of humour to it. I like it's one thing I liked about the first one. And it's really it's, it's presentation is kind of cool as well. Tips from famous DE. Transmission interrupted. Please stand by. Greetings from the government of the United States of America. Since you've been recognised as the world's leading authority on computer security systems, the Central Intelligence Agency wishes to enlist you in, uh, enlist you in its efforts to combat international terrorism. In other words, the Cold War. Brilliant. Operation Brief. Intelligence reports indicate that Alexander Cherksakov, a top Russian scientist and political strategist, has formulated a simple yet devastating plan to overthrow the government of the United States. It is believed that the contents of this do of this doomsday paper could shift the balance of power and jeopardise the entire free world. Well, we don't want communism taking over, do we? No, never. The only known copies of this plan are safely hidden within a vault inside the military complex in Siberia. By obtaining a copy of this plan, the CIA could implement safeguards against such a scheme. And it goes on. Oh, uh, okay, that was me droids. That, they're, they're the droids I've got. They're, they're the remote drones, apparently. Has nobody ever eaten their scabs? What kind of a question is that, Darren? <laughs> oh, my God. And uh, Ego Chip apparently is impervious to hangovers, doesn't he? Uh, Sam! Hello, Sam. Welcome, welcome back in, General Sam, sir. Hello. I think he's dead now. Who's, who's dead? The butcher? I've picked off scabs off pigs and eaten them, though. Oh, my. I've, I've not picked scabs off pigs and eaten them, though. Why would... Okay. These are not the droids you're looking for. That's in there. That's in there. Yeah, it looks like, looks like um, Wobby, doesn't it? Oh, my word. Well, we got a... We, that's the third loader. We're doing well tonight, aren't we? The third loader of ha Hacker 2 loaded instantly. So who's on, who's on, for, the, who's on for the count so far? Oh, there's a map. Multifunction switching matrix has been planted in the building. 
Oh my word. See, this is the thing that is losing me. Input from the surveillance cameras. Let's go seven. I mean, it has a lot of potential, this. Incorrect response. Okay, let's try two. Input from recorded tapes. Uh, three. Camera bypass switch, six. Output to security monitors, uh, five. Incorrect response, all right, seven. Output to security monitors. I have no idea what the hell. See, I'm already lost. This game looks like a bundle of fun. You know what? It probably could if I got into it, and uh, it may be something. You know what? Hacker 1 and 2, I might actually try them again and maybe play them on uh, Twitch, maybe put them on Extra Bit. Uh, could do that. I've already been out read. Porn over bug. This chat always devolves. I know it does. It always goes into somewhere. I don't I, I keep, just keep going now. You know I do smoothie. I just keep going. Talking about black pudding still. Three loads I was wrong. Did Novabug ever play Top Gun on the Amstrad? I was a hu it, it was a huge disappointment for me. I think we've loaded Top Gun. Um, I can't remember. I don't actually thinking about it. I don't have it. Actually thinking about it. I have played it though. I have played it. This is an intro bit. The main game is different. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah. But this is the thing that sort of like drags me down with this. No, bug. I'm kind of new to your stream. Explain to me the testing. Is it because you have a load of tapes bought and you don't know if it works? Pretty much, FC Denhog. Exactly that. Um, basically, what I do is I, I collect tapes. I I just collect as many tapes as possible. Um, I haven't got any particular goals when it comes to collecting. I just want as as many Amstrad cassette games as possible. And the point is, I want them all to work. Um, but the joke is, this you know they're so old. Uh, a lot of them shouldn't work. So will they work? That's the, the whole point of this is uh, will these tapes that some of them are literally some of them are 36 years old. Will they work? Will they work indeed? And a lot of them do. And it's amazing. Um, and we've got three Amstrads to test them on. At the moment, two Amstrads to test them on. Yeah, one is uh, out of commission. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially what the show is all about. And it's just a bit of chat, a bit of banter with you guys and see if it works. That is it. I'd like to change some up now and then as well. Three games out of three so far. We've got two more to go. Two more to go. I think he's made many friends by doing this. Um, yeah, I love doing the show now. I mean, you, you guys seem to like it. Um, the moment you guys stop liking this show is, is, is the time I stop doing it, essentially. Uh, so you've got to let me know. Uh, when you could, you know, can't be bothered with bloody it for a live game testing again. That dickhead in that loft. Oof. Once you say that, then uh, I'm out of there, and I'll just continue doing videos and won't do the uh, won't do the stream anymore. So, Armourauts. I think this has got David Whittaker music on it. I, I want to say it's got David Whittaker music on it. Who said that? CD or vinyl manufacturers. Armourauts on the uh, Mastertronic uh, label. Mastertronic added dimension. <coughs> This is the fourth game tonight, and if the if the tapes desk reader gets broken, and if the tapes and if the tapes desk reader gets broken, then what? Desk reader. Tape disc reader gets broken, then what? I, I'm not sure what you mean, mate. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. If the tapes are broken, then they go into the broken pile, and you're going to see what. Ha yeah, nice music to this game. Yeah, I thought it had nice music, mad moments. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I am sure it did. I had a few more games. I have a few more games for you to test, mate. Discs. Oh, mate, you don't have to, but that would be really cool, Paul, if you do. Awesome. I will definitely, uh, if I've got a collection of discs, I'll definitely, uh, you know, have, have a, we'll, have a, we'll have an evening with uh, with Donny, of course. Um, Dutch, don't mind my English. No, 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 that's the thing. I weren't being funny or anything, buddy. I really weren't. Um, but I was just trying to under, I was just trying to understand what you were saying. I think you mean they're bro yeah. If, if they're broken, he records over the broken tapes with new kids on the block and bros. <laughs> I don't do that. That's what Ego Chip would like to do. Um, I said, I mean, I mean, there was one tape I recorded over. Uh, it was in a black box with a little like star logo on it. Uh, no, no, I didn't actually do that, Ego Chip. I haven't. I promise I haven't. I've still got your your wonderful games. Um. Who is Donny? Donny is my Donny is the six one two eight. You know who Donny is. 
Uh, Richard Griffiths, hello. Uh, good game, Bomb Jack. Yes, it is. You're right there. Bomb Jack is a good game. We're not playing Bomb Jack at the moment, but um, it is a good game. I love watching this show, to be honest. It's fun talking crap with everyone in the chat. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all about talking crap in the chat and waiting for the inevitable to happen. But we've had some exciting times on this. Donnie is a 6128, indeed. Oh, there we go. We've got a cheeky little loading screen there. A bit shifted. Oh, dear. What's it doing up here? I think that's probably correct, but what is it doing all the way out there? We've got a... Uh, Hmm. I wonder if that's a monitor. Talking crap, us. I'm not advertising, but simply recommending. If you enjoy silent game comparisons, I recommend checking out Retro, Stut um, Retro Sutra. One of the most, under uh, the, the most underrated channel on Earth. He doesn't even have 1,000 stubs. I will have a look, Pac-Man. I will definitely have a look. Uh, recording over computer tapes with music isn't advised though, as there are low quality tapes and you don't need good quality, which is essentially two different frequency bleeps. Exactly, yes, yeah, you don't need you don't need good quality tapes for this. Now, Rogue, how many how many <coughs> official tape releases does the Hamster have in its library, and how many have you had? Oh my God. Well, <clears throat> I've got um, I've got over five hundred cassettes, um, and there are oh. Around about three and a half thousand or four thousand or something like that. I always forget that number, but it's it's, a, it's a, there is not really. I don't think there's a definitive figure. Hundred percent, it must be scrappy. Neil, how you doing, man? Retro Man Cave. Um, Scrappy's changed its name though, Neil. Where you been? Scrappy is no longer scra uh, Scrappy. Scrappy is Frankie. You know. But she, yeah, she is scrappy at heart still. It's still scrappy. Scrappy's been a wonderful machine to me. Uh, gifted by 2T UK. Uh, well, Frankie now, of course. Uh, gifted, gifted by 2T UK. So. Blank computer tapes for a ripoff. I've got... Look at these. Ego chip. Ego chip. Look at this! <laughs> I've got some cassettes. wonder what I'm going to do with those. And here's some more. In grey. <laughs> uh, I would fight for that one, Sam. Scrappy sounds fun. Yeah, Scrappy was a good name. Oh, I did, did, did like it. Did like Scrappy's name before. Any disc testing with Donnie planned for the future? Shane Finch. Hello, welcome to Ashford Live Game Testing. Yes, uh, yes, when I acquire more discs, buddy, there will be more disc testing for the future. I've got a couple of discs that I've not tested yet. And I promised myself not to test them. They are not C90s, no. I have I promised myself not to test them uh, unless we, un, until we're on screen. Uh, but I'm waiting for a few more. So for, if, if I'm going to do disc testing, I need at least about ten or so discs uh, to sort of like uh, sort of get for you know to sort of like stretch the stream out. Otherwise, because you know because you know, they, they 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 either fail really quickly or they load really quickly, one or the other. Like Ego Chip says, there disc testing isn't that much fun though. Yeah. Uh, so we can always uh, we can always put a little bit of um, oh this is this is good music isn't it and we'll turn this up actually a bit of music why are you listening to that music I'm gonna get something I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. <laughs> DJ Bug on the wheels of plastic. Uh, you should hook up your CPC sound output to the computer so we can hear it properly. It's actually, I could do that actually. That is actually true. But I wouldn't, I, well, you could do that. I'm not going to do it right now, uh, Ego Chip, but that's true. I've never thought of doing that, and I have got the cables to do that, so yeah. 
Noble Bug, as well as an 80s kid, we copied our C64 games at the time at school. I'm sure we're not focused on the Dutch market, which is too bad. Yeah, but of course, with um, certain block lo um, certain loaders, you can't do that, of course. So, cool sounds of the old Amstrad, Richard Griffiths. Yes, indeed. Press fire. Oh, hello. Trowel. Oh, hello. Trial welcomes you. I, how do you move that? Here? That's it. Here we go. That's down. Oh, that's it. Over there. Very strange game, Marmor, but. Uh, very good music. Very good music. Very good music. And decent graphics as well, I think. The music we used in some of I think it was. Might have seen that box then. Uh, an equal number of... Ooh. It's got really good music, though. Lovely, lovely, lovely... Um, Graphics look alright. Yeah, the graphics are really good on that, I think. Well, it looks like 16-bit minus the colour. Yeah, it's, it's really good high resolution, this this uh, this game. There is a way to... Um, I'm sure there is a way to set the... Uh, I'll turn that down now, because... Press fire. I'm sure... I'm sure there was a way to select joystick for it, but I forgot... Anyone else botch music baseline is like fueled. Mode one. Yeah, mode one. That is mode one. Uh, and a very, very good application of mode one, that is. Very good. It's a wonderfully odd game. I love it and I want to date it. One of my friends had an Amstrad. Ah, which, which Amstrad did he have? That's the main thing. Okay. Well, who predicted the four? Who predicted the four colours can look lovely? They can't. I tell you what. When you when you when you combine them with a certain when you do some graphical effects like with rasters and stuff like that, you can make um, you can make mode one games look amazing. Uh, games like Shadow of the Beast, for instance, and games like um, Switchblade, they look really really good. Uh, you don't need all the colours, and they look they look fantastic. They really do. They look really good indeed. Okay, so what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? He says. Uh, can I change level? Oh, I can change level. Look at that. Let's try cannon. Cannon welcomes you. Hmm. Relentless is another good mode one game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is relentless is really fast as well, isn't it? I want to go that way, but that's that's up. Let's go that way. Up. So don't know the keys. That's down. What's up? That's up. I can't find I'm going the other way. Oh, I found something. Super bomb. Oh yeah, let's do a super bomb. More bombs. Yeah, message received. You can shoot. Yeah, I know you can, and I can't find the buttons, unfortunately. I should read the controls, really. Might be handy. Right. Okay. So Fantastic as that is, and I tell you what, we will leave the we'll leave the music on, but we'll have to move um, things. We'll rewind that. By the way, that was a first time loader as well. Yeah, it's a cool, cool little game. It's a cool little game. Can't really read that properly though. That's a bit of a bit of a strange colour choice to do that. Yeah, the colour choice is a bit weird there. It's all blue. 
can't really read it. Drum roll, please. Right. We have got four loaders tonight. In fact, I'm going to have to turn the music down because otherwise you're not going to hear me properly. Okay. Let's put the home screen on. So, you will remember many moons ago. Let me get something. I've got to get something. There's things to get. <laughs> There's things to get. Right. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to look like a fool. But if it does work, it'd be absolutely amazing. Okay. I miss you, Scrappy. Ah, oh, well. Frankie slash Scrappy. Thank you very much, uh, Retro Man Cave. I don't know why the uh, notification hasn't come up there. Hmm. Best game ever, only not. <laughs> oh, someone's delivering fast food, are they? Okay, all right, fair enough. Need to try this game. Yeah, please do. Thank you very much, Neil. You are a top man for the two pound on the super chat. You're very, very kind, sir. Like I say, if you are feeling really, really kind, um, you can obviously donate on the super chat and, of course, on the Streamlabs. Uh, preferably on. You, you get me. Do you get me licking an answer? I can't remember. I can't remember now. No, you get the uh, you get the jackpot. That's right. That's right. I forget. It's been <laughs> it's been ages since I've seen it. You get the uh, fruit machine jackpot, don't you? That's right. On the Streamlabs uh, donation. So thank you very much, uh, Retro Man Cave. You get a rustlers for that lovely flashing double cheese rustlers for you, sir. Uh, you should go in the sun or something. They love a story like that. You'll get paid and probably get let off too. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing the green screen one day. Oh, we could do, yeah, we could do a green screen. Uh, do you actually own a GT uh, 65? Uh, no, bug. of course I bloody do. It's right behind me, smooth. My GT 65 is sitting right behind me. I do indeed. Get in my belly, indeed. Uh, thanks, Technic. I'm not surprised. Uh, failed to arrest the guy that abused Tommy Robinson's kid and arrested Tommy. So it makes sense that they would nick someone delivering food to key workers. Yeah, yeah, well, let's, let's not get in that rabbit hole. So anyway, let's get on to the serious business in hand. Now, I do have to move a few, a few things around here to hopefully get this to work. So you have to bear with me for a second. Okay. So, you will be aware that uh, it's an on-running joke on the stream. Where do you mostly buy your AMSAD software? Uh, I get it through either donations, or I buy it on eBay, or I look at the uh, Amstrad groups for, for, for selling um, compilations, uh, stuff like that. Many different sources. So, an on-running joke on this stream, as you all already, most of you will be aware, will be this game. <laughs> We're in this game. Here he is, old Eddie. It's Eddie Eddie Edwards Super Ski. Mike Roy's, Mike Roy's Super Ski is sometimes known as. Here he is, old Eddie. Now, Eddie died. Eddie died a death many, many moons ago, as you all know. And um, I'm not going to show you the tape. Well, I could show you the tape, actually. So, somewhere on this tape. Uh, damn, I just noticed it hasn't got a label. I'm going to have to scan that and uh, get make a label for it. Oh, I've given the game away. There's Eddie. There he is. Um, and the, somewhere in this tape, uh, somewhere in the here, the tape is utterly, utterly chewed. This will not load. It's chewed to hell. Uh, it famously chewed. And um, Zypho played this on the Amstream. I know, I recommended it. I actually, I actually suggested it, but I had to go off and record a video, uh, FC Den Haag. So here it is. So what we're going to do, shall we try and resurrect Eddie? Shall we try and resurrect Eddie the Eagle Edwards Super Ski live on stream? Let's do it. Let's put that down there. Okay, so I will move the camera for this because I need to show you something. So I will be moving. Hang on a minute. Let me just get the cable in the right position. <laughs> Cassette cam will be uh, all over the place, by the way. So don't worry about cassette cam. There we go. Let's put that there. 
right there. Okay. And then let's take this. Oh, cassette cam's gone crazy. Okay, right. We'll just put we'll, we'll put cassette cam there for a second. We'll, we'll we'll put cassette cam just looking up at the Amstrad there. There we go. Um, nice Tetris slides. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here we are with a uh, we'll see a uh, jack. And let me bring out the device that makes all this possible. Oh, oh da, 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 da. Okay. Hopefully, my extension needle reach it should do. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. And let's light up, light her up. There she is. And we'll put her there. It's a flux capacitor, it is indeed. Okay, right. Plug that in. So, obviously, <coughs> if you don't know what's going on, you probably do know what's going on. Um, so this is a TZX Junio, uh, which obviously has CDT files on this. This is CDT files running this. You can, I, this one, uh, I've, I've connected this directly to uh, Frankie. And uh, because I modified Frankie with uh, inputs, so I could put this jack in, and you can load tape files directly into Frankie via this device. Okay. But what we're going to do? We're not going to load a game into Frankie. We're going to load a game onto this cassette deck. Because why not? So, since we, the Super Ski is a light color cassette, the so Super Ski is a light color cassette. So let's take another light color cassette, shall we? Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, it's going to be really weird. He goes in there, and then you probably won't see it because it doesn't really show up on camera. But this is the, the we're going to play a ritual. We're going to do a ritual. This is the ritual of resurrection for Eddie the Eagle Edwards. And hopefully this ritual works. We want to see if it works. Now I don't know whether they put this in S Super Ski or whether it's uh, I think it's in E actually. Let's find it. Emotion. Oh yeah, there it is. There, I don't think you can see that. Let the camera focus. Eddie the Eagle Super Ski. There it is. This looks complicated. Ah oh, well, I see the plan here. <laughs> says Mikey. It's been over here since. I just, Eddie's dead. Well, Eddie's dead. Eddie won't be dead for that long, hopefully. So I've selected Eddie the Eagle Edward Super Ski. We are now going to. Oh, hello. Look, I've got to put the old blockers in this. I've just realised, look. That's why I bought some very good Lutag along with me. Because you've got to put these, uh, put them in. So let me just block them up. Because uh, otherwise uh, it won't record, will it? Just block them up with a bit of blue tack. There we go. Uh, we can rebuild him. We can make him faster, stronger, and more human. <laughs> Wait, you've downloaded the tape file and you plan to copy it to a tape file onto uh, the tape file onto a tape. I do indeed. I do indeed. Okay, so that should work. Yes, it does. Okay, we are going to say a little prayer and go on. I bless you, Eddie the Eagle Edwards, and your ski slope and your non-medals for this ritual of resurrection. The TZX Junio and this Sony TCM818 is going to perform the sacred rites. Now, I don't know how long this is going <laughs> to last, so it could take a while. <clears throat> so we press play. And as you can see, this is kind of cool. That's now running. You won't hear anything. You will not hear anything, unfortunately. So there's going to be a fair few blocks to this. So this is a total shot in the dark whether this is going to work. Now, I have tested this on a couple of games already. And I'll show you that while we wait for this. You can't hear anything because it is uh, obviously it's a record. <coughs> cool gadget. Yeah, it is a cool gadget. So we're 1%. So we're making it way. We're making our way. We'll put, them, put it down there. Okay. Now I will show you <coughs> something now. Oh. 
So another game that didn't load. Another game that didn't load before and got chewed. This, this is the best stream I've seen now. <laughs> We're waiting for that to do its thing. It's 5% so far. So we will wait for that. Game designed by Duncan and Sad Ken. Made, uh, made on Etsy by Duncan. Uh, yes, I, uh, I, yes, yes, indeed. I spoke to the guy that created it actually several times over to get mine working properly. Had the same take take with my 6128 long time ago now. Love anything like this. Okay, so this is, uh, so while the resurrection process happens, we'll, we'll, we'll flip the camera back to the Amstrad. I'm not going to move the tripod closer. Uh, we'll do it from this distance. Now this cassette here. God, I was worried when I said Sir Bug, I was going to show you something and th and then I stood up. So this cassette here, which is just a, a C20. Um, I tested this with one of the other games that chewed. And the other game, if you can read that, is Postman Pat. Uh, this was my first essential test to do something like this. And... With any luck, I don't want it too. Uh, you, you can't. You shouldn't have the volume too loud because that does affect it. Because it is a bit rough if you have the volume too loud. Why do I resurrect Postman Pat? I'm going to resurrect all the games. All the games that I, I that have failed. I will. I will resurrect. But what I have noticed is when you do this, is that you've got to make sure that the, the volume control is not too loud on the Amstrad because the TZX sends a really, really strong loud signal to the tape. So you don't want to over overwhelm, overwhelm the tape head, essentially. That's what's essentially what you're doing. But as you can see, the original Postman Pat never even got this far. It chewed before all this. Now this is obviously using the same system what I've, I've just shown you. Uh, what's happening with uh, old Eddie? Using the same system, this is what I did. This is exactly what I did with this a Postman Pat. Using the system that I've just shown you, recorded onto this basic cassette, just a basic C20 cassette. I'm going for the short tapes. You need the short tapes because you know if you have like a if you have like a C. 60 it's just you can have loads of tape on it you don't need all that tape um loaders don't even last longer than 15 minutes lot, lot, most of the time so this is a c20 but i bought basically <clears throat> all these cassettes all these cassettes i bought i bought 10 black ones and i bought 10 gray ones and they are all c30s all of them are c30s so that's 15 minutes on either side and as you can see there we go Old Postman Pat and his black and white cat are there. And he's holding a lovely cup of tea as well to say hello. What is this wizardry, says Rachel. It is indeed wizardry. Uh, all of them, 73 episodes. I usually f one file on average. At least 73 tapes to copy. Uh, no, not on everyone. <clears throat> and of course, when I say all of them, I'm not going to do multiple copies of the same game. I have got two copies of... Two failed copies of Outrun. I've got two, three failed copies of of, of Airwolf. Not that, no, restoring Airwolf. What's the point in that? Well, the point is you get a perfect copy of Airwolf. And yes, it's a terrible, terrible, glitched, bugged, broken game. But still, you know, it's restoration. It's preservation. It's having a cassettes in their original packaging and they work. Yes, they won't be in the original cassette itself. But I'm even going to transpose the labels. I'm going to heat off the labels and put them on the on the on the recorded cassettes. You see, that's the idea, anyway. That is the idea. Airwolf deserves death. It does deserve death. It's terrible. You're right. But to, to resurrect it, to resurrect all these games. I mean, there's so many good games. I've got Xevious in there that doesn't work. Resurrect that. Technocop doesn't load. Uh, uh, Deliverance. These are games I've got failed and they need to be resurrected. But I tested it with Postman Pat because I remember it was one of the, I think it was the second one that got chewed. So it had to be done. It had to be done. Even the terrible games are worth preserving. Exactly. Exactly, retro game bloke. Exactly. Sometimes we resurrect monsters when we should resurrect wonders. 
Can you not take the cassettes apart and put new tape in and then record? Yes, I could do that. And I do speak about that. Exactly, OS, yes, good point. You should say that because I do speak about that in an upcoming video. I've got a video on this. I've got a video on this um, coming up tomorrow where I go into de in depth and discuss this. Um, you know, not you know, I, I discussed it a little bit more, you know, succinctly and not off completely off the cuff like I'm blabbering now. Um, but uh, I do discuss t breaking the cassettes apart. But I give you this, this is the problem, right? A lot of these cassettes are moulded cassettes. They're glued. They're moulded cassettes together. You can pull these apart, but you you, you know you, you will end up breaking them. They're just awkward to take apart. Time consuming and awkward. Cutting them, maybe scoring them, heating them out. And all that kind of stuff. Um, and I just figured, just just replace it. You know, get a blank cassette with nothing, no markings on it, nothing. And just transpose the label. It's just easier to do that. Steal the reels, then take the, then take the tape back. Yeah, I know, yeah. It can do that. But you, it means, like I say, smashing open these cassette cases. And if they're moulded ones, some of them just don't open very well. They really don't. I mean, that's probably not going to... No, that's not going to open. Use lecture set. Yeah, I can use lecture set for that. Yeah, it's very true. You could do that, actually. So, my solution is just to change, just to put labels on them. This is obviously got, this is obviously got printed text on the cassette plastic itself. So, I have a, yeah. So, since they are molded cases, the majority of them are molded cases. I think nearly all of them. Unroll the tape and get the iron out and fix it. <laughs> yeah, someone's made that gag before, retro game bloke. Nice. Um... Some were easier than others to open. Exactly. So it's a ball ache to do that. It's just it's just a ball ache. It's just, just use a Sharpie. <laughs> it's just a ball ache. So just replace the cassette. Replace the entire cassette. It's going to have brand new spools in it. It's going to be a brand new unused cassette. So there you go. You could print out the label and then cut it the exact size. Use that never broke. Exactly. Exactly. That's what, and that's what I will do. Velociraptor. It's exactly what I will do. Use hammer. Shell open. Kind of a right, yeah. Kind of a little bit uh, sledgehammer to peanut there, Anna. So Eddie is forty six percent resurrected so far. <laughs> oh, let's hope this goes well. I've got to look at this cassette because over half the tape is used. Oh no, this is a long cassette. Because I'm hoping that, that a C30 would have enough cassette on it. That's the thing. That's another. That's another thing you'd worry about. Will it have enough cassette on it? It should do. But if not, we can uh, always try that again. Oh no! Now I'm worrying. There's not enough cassette on it. And then there's me thinking that there's me thinking there's me thinking there's me thinking that a a C a C30 is going to be perfectly long enough and obviously uh, I'm going to need a C45 or something maybe we'll see we're 52% complete we will see but we'll see. We, even if it doesn't finish the code we'll still try and load it and see and, and hopefully we'll see a, a nice loading screen this is the first attempt trying this of course the first attempt trying this postman pat postman pat ate a Wuhan bat oh my god <laughs> Right. Oh, I just hope there's enough tape on this. Oh, no, I don't believe it. It's all going so well, and there's a lot of looking at it and thinking, oh, it's only 57% complete, and there's less than half the tape to go. Oh, this is going to be tight. Crazy Borg, how you doing, man? Welcome back to Amsterdam Live Games. It's Bionic, and he is as Iron Maiden lawyers punched my head. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't think there's enough cassette on it now. Oh man, that's gutting. That's real gutting. There's enough <laughs> cassette on it. How is that possible? Games never take 20 minutes to load. Uh, yeah, I would have thought so. I mean, it's a C30, so it's got 15 minutes on one side. So I do have a, a C90 actually just right here. There you go. Postman Pat resurrected. Lovely music, by the way. Explain to Neil what you're doing. 
Oh, right, I will. It works, you see? It's like, it, work, it worked with Postman Pat. Oh, you got to love that tune. You've been paying attention to what I'm doing, haven't you, Neil? I'm sure you have. Yeah, Neil's been here. Using joystick. Oh, no, I'm not going to go difficult. Where's he gone? What should we get there? You have to deliver. Okay, all right, all right, we'll go for it then. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, okay. Oh, go, go back that, go back that way. No, 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 no. Down, you dead, dead. You prat. Here he goes. Dun, 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 chugging along. <laughs> oh, 71% completed. It doesn't look like... You're on the wrong side of the right. <laughs> oh, come on, I haven't seen a, uh, I haven't seen a post box yet. I've got a GTA. <laughs> it's like GTA. Oh, come on, where's the post boxes? There's one. Oh man, you got stuck now, Pat, haven't you? You got yourself stuck, mate! <laughs> He's got yourself stuck! He's <laughs> gonna run out of tape, by the way. Postman Pat 2 delivery harder. They even reworked the theme tune, FC. I oh, know, and he's got himself stuck as well. That's, a, that's the game over. Unbelievably, I'm going to reset that. But there you go. That that is there's an example right there. Postman Pat is on that tape, and it was yeah, just using using the TZX Junior, and it looks like by the way this cassette is going to run out, um, and I haven't got enough tape. I need a longer cassette for Eddie the Eagle Edwards. It will be restored, but like I say, I do have more tapes on. I'm going to have to put more tapes on order and get like a like some C40s or C45s probably. Or something along those lines. I honestly thought this C30 would be long enough uh, to do this. No, but no, no, the resurrection is not aborted. I mean, it's 85%. 85% complete. Just, just, I'll show you. So that is on 85% right now, and this is going to stop any minute, unfortunately. So we'll attempt to load. How long is the load? I oh, know it must be a long load. But it's going to end in a minute. It's going to end any minute because it's coming right to the end of the tape. So it looks like I need a C45 uh, for old Eddie, which is a damn shame. Which I say, okay, we can use this for another game. If it's a block loader, then it can make you can make it a lot faster. Yeah, you can speed it up. Yeah, you can compress it. You can compress the CDT file, indeed. If it's already got a custom loader, there's not much you can do. The C45 was a gun. 88% complete. Oh man, and it's so almost to the end. Almost to the end of the tape. It's so close. It's almost done it. Uh, you can get. I'm get. I'm, I'm getting them. Uh, I get them custom made at tape line. Um, smooth. This I've got these. The ones I bought recently all custom made at tape line. You never know the percent. No, that's finished. It's on ninety percent, and the tape is finished. Unfortunately, that's where we got through an entire side. So I'm going to have to stop that now. But hey, let's attempt to see what happens. Obviously, we're not going to complete the load and we're not going to get to play Eddie. But uh, we will see. If we can get a loading screen out of Eddie without it chewing, then we've got a partial, partial resurrection. Let's see what happens. We will try it. 
We will try it indeed. Let me put the uh, camera in the right place there. Okay, let me put tape cam back. Okay. Cassette cam back in its position. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Right, let's get all uh, my goodness out of the way. So yeah, so tape recorder, a decent tape recorder, the Sony tape recorder. Uh, oh, sugar, I just dropped my TZX. That's not good. And this lovely little gadget, the T, this lovely little TZX gadget, really, really good stuff. You can, it's just, it's going to be basically primarily used for restoration. So, there he is. What? Sh Let's rewind. There's the original cassette. This is the replacement cassette. Obviously, we're not going to get a full game out of this because obviously the percentage didn't get there. I will have to order some C45s uh, and for the for the longer games. I I wouldn't have I wouldn't have ever ever thought that um, a ga that it would be that long. I wouldn't have ever thought that. But obviously, I was wrong. Um, I guess that 15 minutes would be ample time. On a cassette side, obviously I need twenty minutes. So, is it going to work? Is it going to work? Do you think it? I mean, because Postman Pat worked, it did. So, will this work? Will Will, will Eddie come back to them? If we get a loading screen, then Eddie's Eddie's resurrected, and then obviously I will finish the job off with a longer tape. Yes, I, Old Style Gaming says it will work. Okay. I believe in you, Eddie. <laughs> plums, retro plums. Hello. Welcome. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. Hold on to your hats. Oh, thank you, Simon. One night in iron on the super chat. Thank you very much, buddy. It's loading something. It's picked up a signal. Thank you very much, Simon. I have faith in the Amstrad. Faith in the process, though. Is it faith in the process? Did it work? Um, you need 18.7 minutes. Where did you get that information from, Darren? Because I have been looking for the load times on on cassettes where please um can you drop in the discord darren are you in my discord darren i think you are can you drop in the discord what the, the site or the information where you got that from because i i couldn't find out on cpc cpc power i googled it so c45 uh, c60 uh, yeah that is that is yeah <clears throat> 23 minutes per side yeah of course it is yeah Uh, I'd laugh so hard if this tape gets chewed. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but it's not going to happen. Hopefully it will chuck us up a loading screen. Who knows? Who needs supercars, eh? It wasn't a site. You had 83% on the... Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, of course you've done that. Yeah, yeah. you've done a bit of maths. Quick maths. Done a bit of quick maths. Well done. Yes, of course I should have done that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> course right are we going to get a loading screen out of it though oh i don't know whether it has a loading screen i'm sure it does it sounds like it's loading a loading screen so we will find out plus machines were good they were lovely yeah i yeah 20 minutes 20 minutes on each side uh, 25 minutes either side yeah that'll be my for long games ah <gasps> My words! <laughs> oh! Is the resurrection on? Is the is it on? <clears throat> I 
Oh my, Anna says. Fly, Eddie, fly. No, OSG is better than Santa. Is that Santa? It's Eddie. Now, obviously, it ain't going to fully load because we're not going to get to the end. And Bug has just expelled a small bit of free. <laughs> Fixing tapes. That court stuck is one of the top five annoying things in the 80s. What's that noise? What noise? The loading sound. It's just the loading sound. It's just the loading sound. There is a bit of um, feedback coming from it. Which I do notice. It's because, it's, it's like I say, I think the signal coming from the TZX is very, very, very strong. Very loud. So it has a bit of a to it. But the Amstrad's not picking that up. As long as you don't have the value in control too low. Was no way to fix them. Two intakes are the worst. Sure was we. <laughs> Very funny. I thought Eddie was just a ski jumper. Why is he doing Super G there? <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to get a full load out of it, though, unfortunately. <clears throat> Not sure what I just expelled. Is it a multi-load game? Um... Will, will the first bit, if there, if there is one, we see if it is a multi-load game, that is true, that might work. Nova just pre prematurely ejaculated. No, I didn't. I'm fine. What were microids like? Small hemorrhoids? <laughs> oh, Anna, you got to have one for that. Anna, you've got, a, you've, got a, you've got a tumble cabbage for that. Definitely a tumble cabbage. <laughs> Oh, Metro and Liam, you've missed. Look, look what I'm loading. Look what I'm loading. He's missed. Everyone, everyone feel. Everyone feel Metro and Liam on what he's missed. <laughs> missed the live resurrection of Eddie. That's if we get there. That's if we get there. Surprisingly good game, this too, says. Uh, it was originally, obviously, Mike Croy's Super Ski, wasn't it? And then it was sponsored by. Uh, you missed Battle of the Pond earlier. Retro Bug just creamed his pants. No, I did not. You missed Eddie's rebirth. As I played this last night. Yeah, because I, I I suggested it in the uh, in in the in the chat, didn't I? But I had to go and film a video. Oh! <laughs> I think this might be. <laughs> I think this might be a might be a multi load. If it is a multi load, then you've missed tomorrow's world of CPC live. You missed the tomorrow's world of CPC live game testing streams. Have you seen the retro Amstrad cases and keys? Have you got this? You have got this, Eddie. You may be in luck. It's, it's, yeah, the tape's only halfway through, so this may be the most mature stream ever. Nova, Nova. It's not, is it mature? I don't know. But to resurrect all the tapes, wow. I'd love to do that. Like, to resurrect. Live, Eddie, live! Way! Come on, Eddie! Everyone's rooting for Eddie. <clears throat> but you don't want to thank... If it does work, you don't want to thank Eddie. You want to thank the TZX Dunia. And you want to thank the um, Sony TCM818. <clears throat> Throw open the switches. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll have to see. I mean, it ain't, it ain't loaded yet. I mean, we've got way, way further than we ever got before on Eddie. Turn the Orgasmatron to full power. Jump, Eddie. Can't spell that, Nova, so I will thank Eddie. Oh, dear. Go to ludicrous speed. <laughs> mature, what am I doing here? Exactly, Rachel. This ain't, <coughs> ain't for mature people. <laughs> What's all that about? This transfer and tape thing is definitely something I will do and show my wife for her to say get a life. I know. But it's a, it's a hobby. you got to have a hobby. Reset the cassette counter and press any key. It is a multi-load, isn't it? 
Super ski. Training competition. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Training slalom. Oh, ski jump. Got to go for it. Rewind or re re wind or rewind the magnetic tape until the cassette displays the count at one seven seven. Okay, let's try it. That's interesting. That's way further. That's way into the cassette game, though. That's way into it. That's right at the end. No, that ain't gonna work. I should have picked. I should have picked another one. <laughs> Never seen bug this happy. Look at that ass. Oh, shut up. <clears throat> the problem is, I've, I've I've asked it to load something that I haven't. It isn't on the tape. <clears throat> should have gone for something earlier, shouldn't I? I've asked it to load something that's on the tape. Pick the other dude. Now that is quite scratchy. <clears throat> it won't obviously pick up. Wait. It will load. It will load. It's load. It, it will load. I'll just pick the wrong game there because it's that's that's not that's not on the tape. Tapes are hell. I know. <clears throat> Obviously, that won't load now because I picked the wrong game. Oh, I can do that, though. Well, I can stop it. Well, I can stop the tape. <laughs> Maybe you could now use the original tape. <sighs> there you go. <clears throat> it's not dead. It's not dead. It will load. It will load, but I picked the wrong game and I haven't got all the all the I haven't got why does it specify magnetic tape, maybe. Uh, the original tape is totally screwed somewhere. <clears throat> That's the thing, Darren. So there was the reason why yeah, I mean obviously the reason why that's happened. There we go. I just I just reset it because the reason why that's happened is because I picked the wrong game and I haven't got all the all the game code there. But it it did load it. No, I'm not loading it again. No, I'm not loading it again. That's it. The resurrection of Eddie is there, and I will when I get a. I'm gonna order. I'm gonna go downstairs right now, and order ten C uh, C45 uh, cassettes. Eddie will be resurrected in his in his entirety. Totally resurrected. So, there you go. There you go, guys. What do you think? Right. Who wants the um? Who would like the TZX just to load a game? Uh, I've got some game selection. Though. We'll connect the TZX up just to load one final game to go out with. London is overrated. It certainly bloody is. Right. Because I've got I've got the TZX here. So you may, we may as well use her. And, and we've got Scrappy out here. So just got to grab the RAM cable. That's all I've got to do. Like that. Go over here. Grab the RAM cable. Do, 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 do. And we can load any game you want. Uh, okay. Right. Load Eddie. Load it. Load Eddie from the Gizmo. Yeah, I could. I could load Eddie from the Gizmo. Could do that. Don't need that now open anymore. Uh, no, we won't load Eddie from the Gizmo. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie's at his time. There's some compressed here, you see, so we're going to go for one of the compressed ones. Yaya -ya Kung Fu, Wonder Boy, Wet Clemon, Wet Clemon compressed. Oh, I've got this too high. Got it way too high. Got that, I've got that volume way, way too high. Got to turn that down. Start that again. Right, okay, we'll give that a go. 
Have I got it in the wrong... Oh, hang on a minute. I think I've got the plugs in the wrong place. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I think I've got the plugs in the wrong places. I should have really uh, remembered where I put them on top of the plugs. Oh, hello. Let's have a look at that. Oh, hello. Let's try that one. There you go. I've got, I had my plugs in the wrong for sockets. Get me get uh, get me rem and get me um uh me me, me audio in uh, the feed in the wrong way round. Unfortunately, I'm sure I put the rem in the other side, but never mind. Be careful, uh, Lynn lad. Then damn stream got a bit carried away, and I had an accident. Who got who had an accident? Hundred percent with one working. Lol. <laughs> this is a compressed rom. So this this takes it's really quick to load. So we're on sixty percent already. So hopefully this uh, works, just for a little something to go out on. It will load. It won't give you any loading screens or anything like that. It's just all compressed into a very very quick load. And it's still a cassette file. It's still a Julius Mini. Then I better go have a work in the morning. Well, I'm I'm, I'm going to finish in a minute. Uh, we don't want infinite energy and there you go it's Nico there we go you see how quick that loaded that was a compressed CDT file there you go that's the, uh, the, the genius the genius of that device yeah, you have, you have compressed CDT files and it will just load instantly like that. You won't get any of the loading screens or anything like that, but there you go. Well, compressed CDTs load on real hardware. Yes, they do load on real hardware. That's amazing. There you go. Just thought I'd show you a few little uh, gadgets there. Very, very cool, I know. So that was 1943 there, which normally would take about 10 minutes to load. That loaded in less than a minute and a half. With a, it's a compressed CDT file. Keep your SD cards. Yeah. And it's fully playable. Of course it is. Tune this. I've got to love the music on this. Faster, faster than a disc drive on a six sixty four. Good, isn't it? Never mind. Would love a CPC. Love the midway games. Fast and um, well, the, lo the loading is solved. All wait, all that wait for nothing. I know. There you go. But um, we will continue with playing. With, with trying to load the original. Really nice port on the CPC. It is legit truth there. Totes amaze balls. So much more fun. Uh, my TZX Junior loads the loading screen. Oh, what on a compressed ROM though? Is that a, is that a compressed ROM? No retro. It will load it with an uncompressed ROM, but I, that that was a, that was a that was a compressed ROM that I used. So it loaded it loaded it really quickly. So if it, I don't know whether you had a compressed ROM or not. Either way, there it is. It's a solid five, 5 out of 5 tonight. Yeah, my prediction. 5 out of 5 was right. It was. Five, I mean, we could even load another game. It's, it loads so quick. Um, let's try looking at the compressed files again. Uh, look at this. Just, just check this out. 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 
Oopsie daisy. Oh, screwed that up. And I screwed that up. I messed. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> oh, come here. I want to find it. One more, one more, one more. And again, this is compressed. <coughs> and again, the long loading is part of the fun. Exactly. Morse code with another bug. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. 1942 is not such a good port. No, it's not actually, but... Uh, <coughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Well, my, uh, the uncompressed ROM that I've got will... will load. Uh, will load the loading screen. Yeah, of course. But a compressed ROM... Uh, are you timing this? I pressed that what twenty seconds ago. Probably this will probably load in in a, in a less than a minute. This load this uh, next game, which will be the last game we go on with a uh, it's cracking music you see on this last game. That's the reason why I'm playing it. No, because it's been a happy stream tonight. A five out of five, a fully successful stream. Loads of lovely donations, a couple of subs, and a follow out of this. Fan. This gizzo is awesome. Yeah, TZX Junio. It's an amazing little piece of kit. Absolutely brilliant little piece of kit. <clears throat> yeah, the, I, I, I got mine built. Uh, obviously, you have to commission it to get it built. So 80% already. There was Novaland on the C64 member. My God, really quicker than a rustlers. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Quicker, quick, quicker than your proverbial rustlers. And you, you even get a cabbage for that. Mobility? No, we're hardcore. What is it? Hey! <laughs> How quick did that load? Hey! Amazing, eh? Absolutely amazing. And of course, I'll uh, we'll start the game. Imagine if they modded that TZX Studio to emulate cart files in an instant buy. It would then be the equivalent of an ultimate cart for the C64. Uh, I'm not. I'm not grafting tomorrow. I'm not. I'm not. No, no work. No work tomorrow. I'm going to go out with the family. So. Okay, guys. That is a. Uh, there you go. That's been a fun stream, hasn't it? That was fun. He's going to die now. I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried yet. But there we go. Go out, Nova. Yeah, I'm going out with the family. Fuck them. Fuck your rules. Like like the prodigy said, fuck them and their law. Um, me and the family, I'm going to the beach. Just to have a walk, a lovely, a lovely walk along the beach. How do compressed uh, how, how, how do the compressed work? They're just for the Junio being much more reliable in a way of spinning that day. Yeah, the Junio just spits out a really, really clean and loud signal. Very like a real high, hyper clean signal. <clears throat> That's why it can you can chuck a load of fluff onto a cassette <clears throat> and the Junio still puts a real clean signal on it. So there you go. Thanks for the stream. Really good stuff. Really interesting that tape stuff. Like I say, OSG, I've got a video coming out tomorrow. Stream not long enough. It's nearly two hours, man. Um, I guess it's like a CD loader day. They cut they they cut the gaps out of the modulated audio. Exactly. It probably is something along those lines. I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, I'm going out with the family. I can take my family out. I'm allowed to take my family out on a bloody walk. And I will do. Great stream, Chris. Better than last week's. Have a lovely day and have an illegal walk. It's not a legal walk. It's a perfectly fine walk. It's called Civil Liberties. Okay, right. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching the stream. You're brave in this day and age, mate. Do it all the time. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not brave. I don't. I don't fear the fucking insoc. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, guys. On that note, I will, we will leave it there. <clears throat> Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Like I said, I've got a video coming up tomorrow which will, where I'm going to talk about the restoring 
of the cassette and everything else like that. And uh, yeah, uh, brilliant. I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. Good night. Hello, Texie eighty eight. I didn't. I saw you in there earlier, but I didn't quite mention. Uh, say hello. So hello to you now. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. No bug. Out. <laughs>